So when we're trying to diagnose multiple sclerosis, we're using five elements, if I use patient-friendly language. The first element is your story. So we're listening for a story of either discrete attacks, which sound like MS attacks, where you have a focal onset of loss of a neurological function, or the other story that we're listening to is a slow insidious progression of disability, uh, which we can see in the setting of progressive MS, primary progressive MS. When we uh, check spinal fluid, we're drawing spinal fluid, and then we're also drawing blood on the same day. It's important that it's the same day. Because essentially we're looking at the uh, robustness or the activity of the immune system. So we're looking at the number of antibodies basically that we see in the bloodstream compared to the spinal fluid. So oligoclonal bands or OCBs or bands are really a way of uh, looking for uh, antibodies. And generally speaking, you have a lot more antibodies or bands in your blood than you do in your spinal fluid. But in the setting of MS, upwards of 90% of people have an excessive number of antibodies in their spinal fluid, and they will have unpaired oligoclonal bands, meaning they have bands in the spinal fluid which are not seen in the bloodstream. And if you have a bunch more bands in the spinal fluid as compared to the bloodstream, that suggests that the immune system is overly active in the central compartment. And that's seen in 90% uh, of people that have MS. The fifth thing is, hey, make sure that it's not something else. And so there are things that can mimic MS. And so we have to rule those out, which we oftentimes do by looking at the MRI and by getting certain laboratories. All right.